Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another video on this I thought I'd make something that would be hopefully useful to a lot of you guys and that is how to get a level 7 or A star in A level chemistry. Now as you can hopefully see from the screenshot to the side, I actually managed to get a level 7 in my IB chemistry exams. Now for those of you that aren't entirely sure about the difference between A levels and IB, all you need to know is that a 7 is equal to an A star, 6 to an A, 5 to a B and so on and so forth. But that's enough waffling from me and let's get into the top 5 tips I have to get an A star or level 7 in A level chemistry. Now the first useful tip that I'd recommend actually has to do with revision guides. What I did when revising for chemistry was I'd have my revision guide and then I'd get like an A4 textbook and I'd write questions based on every three pages in the revision guide and then I'd do that for roughly about 15 minutes and then after those 15 minutes were done I'd then go through the questions that I'd written on the three pages and i just answer all of them. What this does is that it actually makes sure that you're actually understanding what you're reading in the textbook because a lot of the time when we're reading revision guides we're just like staring at the book and not actually taking in and like digesting what we're actually reading. I then marked the questions that I had answered in my book using the textbook and then depending on how many I got right or wrong I would then um, either go back over the three pages or I then move on to the next three pages. Now my second tip is actually to prioritize what you revise. So what I'd used to do is um, I'd do like a past paper, I'd then separate the paper into different topics and I'd do my different mark breakdowns and then the two topics, sorry, that I did the worst in, I'd then go and spend like two hours revising that topic and then you just keep repeating the cycle of breaking down and identifying your worst topics in the past papers and then focusing on those two topics. The great advantage of this tip is that it gets you in the state of practicing past papers day in and day out so you're improving your exam technique. Now number three comes in the form of strategies in regards to doing past papers. When you're doing past papers especially for chemistry like you want to rush through the paper as quickly as possible. So what I did during my chemistry exam is I would just rush through the paper answering all the easy questions as quickly as possible and I just leave out all of the hard questions that I didn't think I could I could get. The longer you spend on a question your mind just gets like worked up on it and you start getting frustrated like oh why can't I remember that one key element? What Why can't I element? I mean, that, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I just found it so much more conducive to answer all of the easy questions as quickly as I could and then I'd have like 30 to 40 minutes. Using those 40 minutes I would go back over all of the easy questions making sure that I've gotten all of them right and so basically I would have all of the like level 5 to level 4 questions 100% right. It's crazy though because what I found is that once I knew in the back of my mind that I'd, I was basically guaranteed a, a B or a level 5 a lot of the questions that were frustrating me actually became easier and I think it's basically because once you're like relaxed and you know that you're on a decent grade at the moment, your mind just starts to think clear. I don't know what, what it is, but my mind just personally started to think a lot faster. Now, number four may not be that useful if you're watching this video in like May, and that is to treat in-class tests like they are like the real exam, as in take them as seriously as possible. What you will find and what I found and, and probably most students find is that the subjects that you tr like you sweat in and you try the most in during um, sixth form and, and GCSEs to be fair, those are the topics that you tend to do better on during the exams. If you really spend the time and put in the hours to understand something the best you can for your in-class test, you're gonna consolidate that and store that in your long-term memory. So when it comes to doing the exams and not doing the exams, but revising later on in the year, you're literally just spiking that retention curve. And to that point, when it comes to like revise for in-class tests, actually do past paper questions. Nothing checks your understanding like doing questions. And part five, and actually the last part for this video, is to do with focusing on yourself. I told you guys a little, a little bit of a story, but basically there was this guy in my in my class called who was. Oh, should I say? His, yeah, you got no, no one watching this will know him, but he was this really smart guy, yeah. Fam, this guy was getting level sevens like the whole year round. And basically, I remember I used to look at this guy and I'll be like, fam, if that guy's level seven, like there's no way I'm gonna get a level seven and then basically the danger of assigning a grade to a certain person in your class is that you don't even bother like trying to get to that grade because you're like well if that's what a level seven looks like <laughs> there's no chance of me getting it so why even bother never assign a certain grade to a certain person in your class it's really just about like putting in the hours being dedicated you know being a serious candidate all of that stuff yeah <laughs> at the end of the day like nothing's permanent just because you're getting a level four or a C grade or something all year round doesn't mean you can't change it around with like a couple solid months of like serious work and on that note that is the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy um, if you did hit that thumbs up button guys um, subscribe if you're new guys you know trying to get to three point 5k hopefully one day we'll get there one day guys <laughs> if you want me to make a part two let me know down in the comments down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one